and Dr. Kim Hammond from the Falls Road Animal Hospital is here with some guests. Yes. Hello. This is Riley and Gabe and their dog okay. Havana. Very good. Thanks How for cool. joining us. Little, That's a, a cute dog. Puppy. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah, it's great. It's like <laughs> a little rascal's dog. You want to hear something funny? What? It snores. I'm sure. <laughs> it's, it's a puppy and it snores. It is going to be a baffle in another couple months. <laughs> All right, let's get to our questions. My dog chewed up a rat poison trap a day ago. He seems fine. Should I do anything? Yes, you should do something. Lisa, this is a really serious problem. You know, Pet Vet Care Centers, it's a national chain. Mm -hmm. they, they're, they're really sort of like the, the thoroughbred for, for helping animals. And you know, if you if there's a pet vet care center near you, wherever mm -hmm. you are in the listening audience, you know, call those guys because there's a protocol for taking care of animals that get into rat poison. Mm -hmm. And this is the time of year when it happens. You call the veterinarian. This is the deal about rat poison. It's not like strychnine where you suddenly get an effect and you throw up and fall right. over and drop dead. It happens two or three weeks later. Oh, wow. By surprise. So okay. you, you go to the, the animal hospital, find the centers, and go to the animal hospital. Okay. I'll take care of you. Okay. My cat rolled over a mouse sticky trap. How can I get the glue off her fur? Do I need to shave her? We're in a roll here with this have, kind of stuff. Have you ever, uh, have you, ever <laughs> you know, those sticky traps are sticky. I mean, they are sticky. They are, you know, they are like three stooges I've never sticky. been trapped, but maybe you have. <laughs> I have. I have. You know, I'm, I'm that guy, right? My wife always yeah. goes, she throws her hands up in the air. She goes, really? My foot's stuck in the damn thing. But at any rate, here's the key. This is the key. As sticky as they are, regular old cooking oil will dissolve the stickiness. And you mm. just have to use it gently on your cat. Don't shave your cat. Shaving a Persian is a nightmare. And Yeah. Okay. Just use the cooking oil. All right. All right. Thanks, guys, for coming in. Cute right. doggy.